What's going on, everybody? Uh, full case of Jumbo. Eight box case break number four. Pick your team sold out on jazbeescasebreaks.com. Thanks, everybody, for getting in. Here's the lips. And here we go. I'm actually just going to open it. You can see the opening in here. <coughs> I hate these stupid posters. Why is it hate for the cops? No offense. We're opening 50 cases, like, we're opening <laughs> 50 posters. Maybe we'll give them to customers. Ty Cobb's kid or whatever. Ty Cobb's kid. Christy Matthewson's great, great. Oh, he, he's great in the Vince's box. Now he wouldn't be there. He's a <laughs> <laughs> That was so fun. We get him breaking like that. What's up, Mario kid? <laughs> hey, what's up, Mario? What's up, Mario? <laughs> that was like the most like one of calm, one Zion comes calm, out. Calm, is, like, kid what's ever. up, Mario? It, it was like someone's like, yeah, that's a fifty grand card, dude. <laughs> Easily. What's up, Tice? How's it going? What's up, Mario? <laughs> hey, what's up, Mario? Yeah, what's we're up, pretty Mario? much we're pretty much booked up for the whole night. Already sold out of all of our breaks. Um, going until 6 a.m. and then Jason's gonna go live around 11 a.m. tomorrow. So you got a five hour break. So like 10 hours, yeah. He's gonna break until like 2 or 3 and then Joe's gonna hop on and then I'll probably hop on after. And then again so Sunday, Monday. And then Welcome Jason will be live Sunday, Monday. <gasps> We're gonna need a vacation. Uh, but then we have Bowman Wave 2 coming Wednesday. They only gave us half of Bowman the first week, which I so, kind of like, to be honest. So, yeah, that's actually good, because you get, you get a little break. Sword, like, yeah. Tuesday, you get, like, a, maybe a little break. Monday, Tuesday. And then, you know. We have to see, like, it would have been released at the, at the right time if it waited until Wednesday. Yeah. I know, that's I what I really I heard you mentioned. I like you Fridays, guess, though, too. better for release days. I like Fridays would be good, yeah. And it's like, they could have just kept the release date and not talk yeah, about it. Yeah, why Friday push it yet. up? Uh, Jason's days. actually staying next door. But, yeah, I, he did... He did go home, but yeah, he's been here he took a hanging power out. Nap at the hotel and came yeah, up. he took a power nap at his hotel room. It's just a part party now. He's hanging out. Yeah, it's just a historic event. This would be like having Michael Jordan, Magic Johnson, and like Larry Bird all in one yeah. one room. There you go. Corbett says they put up tents in the parking lot. <laughs> we could actually camp out there. I mean, I could have got my, I could have brought my okay, little mattress and stood here. Yeah, you could have. I mean, if we if we get like a little poster of it here, a toaster of it, I, I might not even leave Sunday mornings. <laughs> build a shower. Build a shower. If my gym was still open. Dude, if we build a loft here, it would be so See, so sick. Even a loft. I know. It'd be cool <laughs> to barbecue up there. I think shit. we could. If I'm or we, just heights, gotta, but... we gotta buy the house next door. That's what we gotta oh, that's do. That's right. That's right. Yeah. And then connect them via a tunnel, Whoa. like at the national oh. conventions. Right, yeah. right, Remember right. Remember, they have the tunnels. Yeah. Yeah. You just gotta keep that dog though. Just buy up the, the dog. Big yeah. White dog. Yeah. Buy yeah. the dog. He's gonna look at you at six in the morning like, yeah. what are you doing? The dog comes <laughs> to the house, right? <laughs> Nolan Jones to 250. I don't want to take custody of the kids, though. No, I don't want to take that. <laughs> not that they're not probably nice kids, but. Not a responsibility. That's a lot of responsibility. We're going to have to be doing a lot more Bowman for their college educations. I have a hard time taking care of myself. I mean, we can pull a Dominguez orange again. <laughs> That'll be for at least one year or two. Yeah, one, one year college. At a Cal State, though. Not, yeah. not yeah. We need four Dominguez's. Atomic, Ronnie Mauricio to 150, and Logan Dominguez. Allen to 499. What about Pepperdine? We're going to need, like, a yeah. Dominguez yeah. Super Fractor auto. Dude, even USC raised the tuition up by, like, five grand. It's like, what are they, like, 50 Online, grand? they're 55,000 now. Yeah. Owen oh, Miller to 499. And that's per year. Just think about that. Yeah, you're gonna need a scholarship. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, uh, I pulled a Jason Dominguez orange. <laughs> I need a scholarship here. <laughs> Bryce Ball auto. Any relation to the Lonzo balls? Or what about Trey Ball, former Boston Red Sox prospect? Uh, that's Braves is Mark. Our first it's auto. Deep pull there, Trey Ball. <laughs> I remember pulling so many of his cards. I 
wish it, I, man, I wish this paper I could just go like that. Bang, uh, bang. I'd be going to get to the mangas. Yeah. Alright, yeah, we'll be back at the work. Alright, see, see you, Jason. Jason. Bye. Bye, Vanessa. Simpsons episode? There yeah, Jason said that hotel is like a ghost town. Yeah, there's no one there. Do they give you like a suite? They probably don't have you. No. Suite. But. Do you. Are you overlooking I'm, back? I'm, I'm looking straight into the Wells Fargo. Oh, nice. Chipotle? You got an eye on Chipotle? I, yeah, if I, if I look down the street a little bit, yeah. There's Jacob Amaya for the Dodgers. Base auto going out to Robert Thrones. Joe would need a wet bar at the store too if we were staying over. Definitely Come need a bar. Mm -hmm. We can set that up for you. Yeah. We, we already have a we bar. We already have a bar, yeah. We just need the liquor. Uh, there's Dominguez, particularly Jameson, right? Oh, yeah. I've got, actually got it in my bag right now. Oh. There's Eric Pardino. Is that somebody honking at us? Saying they, they're watching us? Maybe Jason? It's a late, late, uh, too late for one of the friendly honks. There's Chris Valimont. Sound, sound like a hurry up honk. Yeah, it did, right? Crazy they predicted the coronavirus and the murder hornets in the same episode. Did same really? scene. I mean it was like they started coughing and like oh, yeah, 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 and yeah. then and then like a bunch of bees got launched. <laughs> but I was like, they're bound to do that because they have so many episodes, you know? Yeah. It's yeah. like it's like you're taking so many shots, your percentage is not gonna be great, but Yeah, I mean how crazy is the idea of a pandemic? I mean but then like the, the hornet, the hornet part was kind of crazy. Yeah. I don't know. Right after, it's just like killer bees. It's just like bad stuff, yeah. Yeah, I've never been a huge Simpsons fan. I, don't know. I mean, it's been around for so long that it's like hard to hard to for like new fans. It. Like, how are you gonna get into it? There's thirty yeah. seasons. Are you gonna really grind through those like weirdly animated like first five seasons? And do you just have to understand? Like, do you have the, to under? But you gotta get like some of the characters, right? Right. Yeah. Otherwise, those classic characters won't mean anything to you because you're just like, oh, you know, yeah, it gets kind of weird. One box, one box. I split them. We should have KBO coming on in an hour or two. I didn't do any bets. I should have. Let's just put a, let's just put five hundred bucks on that team. Purple Auto Alvaro Sejas, number two fifty. I won't lie, I did like a twenty dollar entry, like random. <laughs> it was really bad. I regretted it. Uh, what's up, Matt Gomes? This is Bowman Jumbo PYT four. I want to see this on the camera. I don't know. It's kind of a weird angle. Right? Teddy messed it up. This? Uh, I, had, I had a perfect crew. World Series Game 2 in the 1980 season? No, I can't watch that. No, I can't watch non HD stuff. I'm just spoiled, <laughs> you know? There's no score box on there. This There's... is terrible. How did people watch baseball back then? Yeah, you had the Reds, Matt. The Phillies. Kino possibilities. I just see you with the Reds and Phillies. Yeah, two teams. Dominguez uh, top 100. It's the first one I've seen. I don't think I've seen a Dominguez top 100. That's cool, yo. That is new to me.
Yeah, just started. Um, no one of your teams yet. And I'll do a recap at the end. I don't think any one of your team. Zuh. Dominguez Chrome. Megan Yankees. Got him in this one as well. Kung Fu Panda. Yeah. South Park. Can't watch that, probably. <laughs> We're a family friendly show. I hate when it does that. King of Queens is pretty safe. Yeah, it's pretty safe for work. That family feud, I didn't know some of the questions. Uh, yeah, it got a little... Uh, a little risque. Well, I, I was like... The bra size question, I was like... What? The, uh... It's, it's TVPG with D for dialogue, so... So they're saying there, there's some PG dialogue there, I guess. But I don't know. Sometimes it gets to, like, TV14, I think. They're lucky they don't post on YouTube. They would have to go through all those hoops. <laughs> right. Ooh, look at this. Adley Rushman auto. Oh, 22 of 50. Yeah, top 100 auto. Bowman Scout. Baltimore Orioles is EA. Nice one, Eric. Yeah, we have KBO on ESPN here. Nice. So was that number? Yeah, number to 150. Nice. Oh, no. 22 of 50. Not 150. Even better. 22 of 50. The catcher of the future. That's a nice one. Adley Rushman, Joey Bart. Right? Yeah. Could be a golden era. Golden I went through those already. Hebert Ruiz for the Dodgers. Uh, Dominguez, spanning the globe. Bobby Witt. Remember, Bobby Witt, Dominguez, and uh, Robert Pawson for the... Oakland Athletics are the only paper cards that ship. This is the only exception. All the rest we donate. Or resell and then donate the money. No Kid Hungry tweeted at us saying thank you. But did he really? Yeah. Oh, nice. There's a Stephen Paulini auto for the Braves. That's Mark. Yeah, Kino has autos in here. He has uh, rookie autographs. Jason pulled one earlier. I think an Atomic auto he pulled. Yeah, a few rookie autographs. I want to sell an iPad for $24. Then. There's Cody Hosey for $2.99. I think they're saying you want to buy. Yeah, but why would I sell it on? Why would I sell it on there? I don't know who's who's. Is it? I think it's their inventory. They're oh, not it's their inventory. Yeah. I still don't think I'm getting an iPad for $25. I don't think that's a very rare occurrence. It's because like, every time there's a bid, the bidding time goes up a minute. On that Someone at 3.45 in the morning got lucky with this iPad. Yeah. Or it just happened one time so they can use it in advertisements. Or like the website crashed. <laughs> yeah. Is there anything worse than Lifetime? I don't like Lifetime. What? Lifetime? Lifetime movies and oh, stuff. Oh, I mean, like, you, got, you watch those. They're so cheesy. So bad they're good. My sister loved those. Does she like them without irony? Yeah. Oh. I mean... Yeah, I feel like it's like she also watches, you know, Bachelor. Oh, okay. And then, then yeah, that that might be up for all right. Yeah. A lot of people watch Bachelor, I guess. Not ironic. Yeah. I guess. There's a really bad one on Netflix now. It's like where you, it's like virtual dating where there's the biggest paper. Um, 
it's like a competition type thing. You don't see the person, you just talk to them on like, I don't know, it's weird. You're in like a hotel and you're Skyping with each other but no camera. So like some people post like catfish these others for strategy. I don't know, it's crazy. The it's stuff too, that they're coming up yeah, with. It's way too complicated. Uh, 125 of 125, Jonathan India. For the Reds. Hallmark is pretty bad. Yeah, it's like Lifetime, right? Hallmark channel. I don't think we get that. All right. We just haven't seen it. I saw, I think it was Hallmark channel. I think I saw a Reddit thread. Will Wilson of 499. Where Hallmark channel last Christmas did like 30 Christmas movies or something like that. No, maybe it was like half that, like 15 Christmases or 12 days of Christmas movies. They made original or ones? Original ones. Wow. Right? And they all had, someone like found out that they all had like these narrative, these like threads that go, in, go in between each movie. Bobby Witt, oh, like they're in the you same like, universe? Yeah, the, yeah, in the same, yes. Yeah, awesome. There's like the same Hallmark <laughs> Christmas World universe. That's exactly That's funny. a great way to put it. <laughs> It's like the Marvel Universe. It's like right. the Hallmark they're like, Christmas oh, Universe. Oh, there's that one dude from that from <laughs> Hallmark Movie Five that's, that's in awesome. Hallmark Movie Eight, but Mike he doesn't Avella. really say anything. He's in, in the background, the background. Yeah. yeah. Like the Bell Boys. Or yeah, was like yeah, that's or that's like his office or like. That's funny. So and so's flower shop or whatever. Wow. Mika, Micah Bella for the Brew Crew, and that's uh, D Porter. Yeah, I saw... Did you see where they found in, like, Iceland or something that there's a parallel universe? What? You didn't see that news? In Iceland, there's a parallel universe. No, there's a parallel universe that they found in Iceland. In there's, Iceland. I cut my finger. Paralleling which universe? Monster box cut finger. Ooh. So, explain that. Uh, I can't. Really. They got this thing that, like, shoots up the space... They found particles that there may be... Sounds like, sounds like Golden Compass. Yeah. I don't know. It's crazy news, though. Hmm. Alright, so if you're looking on this camera, folks, each double stack right here is a uh, box. Is a jumbo box. There's one, two, three, four, five jumbo boxes plus the one on this desk. On set. Purple Heliot Ramos to 250. Okay, I don't think we're bleeding, so we're good. I should wash. BRB. Uh, a lot. We've done, I think, at least 10 cases. So whatever 10 times uh, however many cards. Probably 50,000. Maybe that's high. Joe Adele. Not more than the million card break, though. That was a lot in February. When we went to the Dallas Stadium. That was crazy. All right, here is a yellow auto for the Pirates. A little smear on it, unfortunately. Might be able to replace that with tops. Number 75, that is Aaron Shortridge. Yeah, that was a little too much. It's a once a year type thing. Um, I'll include a pack with that too. Pack wrapper with the Pirates um, shipment. I think Matt is in Orange County, Sean. 
I guess there could be multiple in Orange County. Andrew Vaughn, gold paper to 50. <laughs> or the uh, Leonardo DiCaprio meme where he's pointing at the TV. I like that one. Are you me? Did you see the new trailer for the new Christopher Nolan movie? Ooh, looks badass. Oh, Dominguez um, paper. Tenet? I saw that in a... Oh, looks good. Didn't we see that before? It was a Star Wars? Yeah, I think it might have been, right? But that was just like a... It was a really short one. Yeah, it was like a preview more than a trailer. Is there an actual trailer? Yeah, the trailer oh, came wow. out. Oh, wow. Debuted in Fortnite? 125, Dylan Car Carlson. Yeah, they've, they've been doing that a lot. I'm so bad at it. I can't play that game. Well, now you have to build shit. I can't do it's that. so hard. you got to multitask. These kids are on a different level. All right, <laughs> next like autograph. When you're like grandpa age, yeah. and you're just like, sorry, I, I mean, I don't know how to do like these twelve things at once. You think no. there will be new I technology can't, that I can't operate this hologram have? watch that everyone seems to know how to operate? Is Jacob Amaya number two ninety nine? It's gonna be all like, it's all gonna be like um, mo VR motion directed swipes in the air. Yeah, like the Wii, but without the controllers. Mm -hmm. Yep. And so, so you're to be like. Your gr Nick, your grandkids are gonna be like, oh, you can't even do that. You can't even yeah. swipe. All pissed off. Yeah. All you have to do is just like wave your hand and you can make a phone call. And then you're like, oh, you can't even do that. It's like my grandpa Nick called me the other day. He thought he was calling someone else. He didn't even know what to are swipe. we? What are we jealous of, Sean? He didn't even know how to sw swipe. The he didn't even know. How to <laughs> he didn't even know how to do this. <laughs> No. It stings though, right? It's, yeah. I, I hate that. Those like little paper cuts. No, I just don't want to get blood on the cards. It's not that much, so. I don't know if I can have beverages on the on the camera, right? Oh, you already were shown, so. Yeah. Oh, damn. You weren't drinking it. Right, right. Although, watch YouTube like one camera account. <laughs> it's root beer in a bottle. Yeah, I can never tell how they can prove it. I guess that's why you put it in the paper bag, though, right? Yeah, yeah some uh, some scars. Yeah, you know what they say, you know. The chicks dig the scars, especially in breaks. <laughs> they they know uh, yeah. you've been in some tough tough battles with the bowman. They'd be like, "Oh, look at his hand cut. He must have been ripping bowman for 24 hours." So. Ooh, we got something coming up. A speckle auto. It is Aaron Ashby, number 299. Andy's kid. Who's Andy? Andy Ashby. The baseball uh, player? Cardinals Padres picture, maybe? Uncle Andy. Uncle. Andy. Come on, man. Milwaukee Brew Crew. That is Darren Porter. The dad of uh, Aaron Ashby wasn't good enough, I guess. His uncle is... Uh, or maybe mom, I guess. I don't know. 
There's Kiebert Ruiz, number 250. Who knows how families work? Yeah. Who knows families? Got a teal coming up. It is Antonio Cabello, number 125. Any relation to Camila Cabello? I don't know. For the Yankees. That'd be awesome. Megan with that. Just a stacked family. Baseball player, pop star. Imagine being like the third wheel in that. Bobby Wood Jr. Like the disappointing child. That'd be terrible. All right, so apparently scientists have discovered a parallel universe. Yeah. Just like our own. In this mirror world, time runs backwards, like yep. Benjamin Button. But this writer from CNET.com says, I'm going to spoil the parallel universe party. Scientists actually haven't haven't actually discovered a parallel universe, but you might think they have based on multiple reports from across the web. Mm. This was also in Antarctica. Iceland, Antarctica. Same thing. Opposite side of the Olympic deal. Same thing. Cold. Polar bears. But yeah, I, I they would found imagine... particles uh, that de defy the laws of physics. Where the quote, we may have spotted the parallel universe going backwards in time. I guess there's, this, there's an antenna there? The Antarctic Luis Patino. That's what I was saying. A huge thing that goes in space. Or Anita involves an array of radio an array of antennas sitting in Antarctica. Jesus. Jeffrey Goldberg with the Padres. Attached to a helium balloon which flies over the Antarctic ice sheet at thirty six thousand meters, almost four times as high as a commercial flight. At that height, antennas can listen to the cosmos. And detect high energy particles. What if a plane flew into it if it was yeah. like cloudy or something? I'm trying to do the thing with the, my back fingers that your guys are talking about. I can't do it. I don't even know how to start. I'll bet if I if I smashed your left thumb, I would have to. Yeah, you'd be forced to figure out how to do it <laughs> because you won't really you can't rely on it. I'd build a robot thumb. <laughs> <laughs> I want you to build a robot thumb and just like just amputate your. Th that's that's gonna happen. And with like, like very soft padding, so it doesn't damage the car. That's, that's gonna be a thing in a hundred years. And then it has auto detect, so it pulls the yeah. the autos right that's away. Gonna happen in a hundred years, you can just chop off an, a hand and just put a bionic robot thumb. Under. Yeah, you can have a robot thing. Well, the guy on uh, Dark Knight, he's got half his face blown off, and then he goes robot. That cr that scene creeps me out. Burn? No, the uh, the senator. Oh, the, uh, uh, the president or whatever. No, the district attorney. Yeah, whatever. Harvey Dent. Yeah, he's got half his face. His face that creeps me out. That's like when uh, the guy in Breaking Bad also gets his face blown off. Ooh, look at this! Purple auto to two fifty. Jaron Duran. For the Red Sox. Duran Duran. That's a nice one. Purple auto to 250. Jaron Duran. Oh, so all they're saying is they found some wacky neutrinos and wacky, like... Well, the headlines are like, particles. oh, LOL's a, a second I mean, thing. I mean, they could have... You could just say anything. Yeah, Joe's like, Joe's staying next door too. Also, these particles could do anything. Like they could be a parallel universe. They could be dark matter that will power spaceships. You can just make anything up. Base auto of Duran is going for two K, Jason. What? Oh no, he looked up oh, Dominguez. Dominguez. Okay, I was like, what the heck? I gotta raise the Red Sox like five hundred bucks. 
Actually, it doesn't sound too bad. I recommend nature made vitamins. To trust their quality, they were the first to have a vitamin verified by USP, an independent organization that sets strict quality and purity standards. Nature made, the number one pharmacist recommended. What are you trying to do? Get out of the camera? Yeah. That's fine. I'm, I'm not even done. Like, there's like one wing that's on. <laughs> Alright, what else do you want to learn about? What else weird happened today? That was the only crazy news I saw. I also saw, Jason brought it up too, that the song West Virginia, Mountain Mama, Take Me Home is actually about the western part of Virginia, not West Virginia. I can't be sure. The John Denver song? Yeah. Take me, home, take me home, country roads. Yeah, take me home. It's about the western part of the state of Virginia, not rather West Virginia? than West Virginia. True or false? What? I don't know. That that seems like internet craziness. Internet craziness. I was like, you can't sing that song in West Virginia, then. It can't be true. Our systems have detected unusual traffic from your computer network. Whoa. This case is. That's because we're streaming so much. Yeah. <laughs> They're kicking you off? The, yeah, the, the Orby was like... Well, I'm not even on Orby. I'm on the router. Because I was on Orby. Dominguez paper? That Orby's hit or miss sometimes. The Frontier 5696 is sometimes better. I don't know why. Speckle Auto Glen Allen Hill Jr. So nice, they named him twice. To 299 that's for Josh Pruce and the Diamondbacks. No, it's about West Virginia. Okay. That's that eases my mind. The geographical features named in the first verse of the lyrics Blue Ridge Mountain, Shenandoah River, which are a more prominent state of Virginia than in West Virginia, can be found in Jefferson County, West Virginia. What? Okay, I see where people might be confused. Adam Hall Auto for the Orioles, EA. The Blue Ridge Mountains and Shenandoah River, I guess the more, I guess it's more prominent in Virginia, Ugh. but can be found in Jefferson County, West Virginia. Oh, but is that, that's West Virginia? Yeah, okay. so. So it's like how the New York Giants it's play like, New Jersey? Yeah, I think it's like, it's like saying. Even though they're the New York Giants. It's like Nevada claiming Yosemite, you know what I mean? Just because it's kind of close there. It's 125 Jazz Chisel. So I, but like the, that range of Sierra Mountains could go into Nevada, but everyone just kind of thinks of it as, well, Yosemite's in California. Who's taking care of Bubba during this marathon break? Bubba can handle himself. He's, just, he's asleep right Bubba's now. Bubba's a grown adult. Yeah, gro Bubba's an adult. He eats, he sleeps. He eats, he sleeps. Papa don't need no man. <laughs> he gets taken out. He's fine. The bugs. He walks himself. He gets the food out of the cabinet. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, I can just picture that now. Too much food. Just like him sipping coffee looking out on a Sunday morning. Yeah, like, it's just like it's another day stuck indoors. Yeah. Joe doesn't take him to the dog park anymore for some reason. He doesn't understand COVID. <laughs> why no dog park? Oh. Yeah. It's just guess. like that owl. It's like, why no dog park? Yeah. It's like, why are uh, so many so many people uh, staying home? That's what yeah. all dogs are thinking. Yeah, it's like, I, I scare a lot of people. Home? You're here a lot more. Taking Home Country Roads received an enthusiastic response from West Virginians. The song is a theme song of West Virginia University. It has been performed during every home football game pre-game show since 1972. Yeah, I knew that. That's why I was like, that can't be. Purple Paper to 250. Nick Bennett, Brew Crew. Blue to 150, CJ Abrams for Jeffrey Goldberg.
Got about six more hours to go here on the 24 hour stream. The last 30, no, the last 25% of the stream. Might be the slowest part of the stream. We're in the dog days of the break here. Kind of slowing down, messing around, talking about parallel universes, John Denver, Robert Passon. How about the fact that Michael Jackson owns like a bunch of other artists' songs? Yeah, that owned, the, uh, owned the Beatles catalog for a long time. So, who gets the money if the Beatles are dead? And let's say their catalog, who gets the money? The whoever the whoever they will it to. Okay, Yoko Ono. I mean, it'd be it'd be under the the Beatles as a business entity. You know what I mean? Yoko Ono's still alive, right? She's still alive. Okay. Um. Yeah, I mean, it's like it's like, it's like a business. Yeah, that's crazy. So Joe Janord, Auto for the Mets, Armando. So yeah, yeah, music music is weird because there's the actual music and then there's the actual words. Yeah. So Michael Jackson owned the words to the song, which can get you huge royalties every time a song is published as a CD or a record or played. Played on the radio. Right. Yeah, I saw a lot of more artists are making songs under like three minutes now because of Spotify so that... The more plays they get, obviously, the more money they make. Right, correct. So, they want you to repeat their songs. Mm -hmm. Makes sense. Sean says, MJ is the reason the great album was never released. What's that mean? There's a uh, gold to 50, Forrest Whitley. That's the uh, 1990 Surf. Bowman. Danger Mouse did a mashup record between Jay-Z's Black Album and the Beatles' White Album. And so since I think Michael Jackson's estate now, I guess, owns... Oh, for some reason I was thinking Michael Jordan. A lot of the publishing... I was like, Michael Jordan's in this too? Although I want to say McCarty has bought, bought back a lot of that from Michael Jackson over the years. Yeah. He's got enough money to, probably. Mm -hmm. It was just a matter of Ooh, Michael Jackson. Gold Shimmer one. Auto for the A's. 10 of 50. Gus Varland. Oakland going out to Aaron Tooley. Nice one, Aaron. That's one weird episode. Yeah, I'll get that. Playing a copyrighted song on my stream. On the Queen's Brown Bridge. This year they didn't make veteran chrome cards, which I always think they do, but they didn't this year. I think you can get vet autographs. Yeah, but there's only vet paper, not vet chrome. Right. Mm -hmm. the How wild chrome. is it that in New York, like, you can go five miles and you can be in a completely different world? Like in New York? What do you yeah, mean? Like, well, like Manhattan to Brooklyn, right? Completely different worlds. Yeah, that's it's like California. Like, it's like five miles. No, it's not. One mile you can be in the low income place, and another mile you'll yeah, be in like Beverly but, I Hills. Mean, there's like Brooklyn and Manhattan. No one's ever going to say that those are. They have completely different accents there. They have complete. It's five, yeah, that's true. The five boroughs. It's crazy. Four boroughs. Right. From Bronx boroughs. to like Long Island, that's completely different. Staten Island to Queens. It's crazy. You just cross the bridge and you're there. And it's just like a completely different world. Then you got Long Island, right. Staten Island. Hitting the wall here, I'll tell you that. Whew. I need a big hit to get me rejuvenated. Nothing too crazy other than that Duran in this case. I want a Super Fractor, that's what I want. It doesn't matter the player, it could be an insert Super Fractor. I just want a Super. Tim Kate to four ninety nine. Um, on jaspies.com, Brad, 
So if you type in your web browser, jazbees.com, you can buy a personal box and you can put in the description that you want it ship sealed or broken live. Um, the hours for Instagram are usually about 3 p.m. to 10 p.m. Um, and Teddy will be live tomorrow for that. So a different website than the case breaks part. Dominguez paper. And remember, uh, that select baseball break, if it sells out, probably won't be until like 5.30 a.m. or so. Six, seven hours. Just fair warning on that. Don't want to have to send any refunds or anything. Like, what happens at Sands Point? All right, there's Jackson Rutledge Auto. But I know what that is. Somewhere in, in, in New York. It's like a little, it's like, Adam know. Swift. In Hampstead Bay. I don't even know where that is. What about, uh, it's north of Queens, but it's just like a lot of golf courses there and stuff. Yeah. I never, Jericho. I never went to the Hamptons. Roslyn. Glen Cove. What are these places? The Hamptons is like a different world. There's another Dominguez Crone. Yeah, and then the Hamptons are like the very end of the thing, right? Yeah, and they're rich. Right, right, right. Expensive Steven, homes. Stephen Parker's ex used to live in Montauk, I think. Whoa. Which is all Montauk the way Montauk is there. a very popular vacation destination. Yeah. So like, what happens in Montauk? I think there's skiing there. I think a lot of ski ski slopes. Maybe not. No, there's no mountains there. Okay. I'm thinking of something else then. It's like. It's wild. I mean, yeah. Jeremy Pena at a 4.99 auto. Crazy, crazy times. That's for the Astros and Natalino. Uh, we'll probably have some more mosaic next week. Probably no Inception though. I don't think we're getting any of that. Maybe, maybe uh, one case here or there, but nothing planned. Bobby Witt. Um, coming up, we have Tier 1 Baseball, first week of June, so we'll have that. Select Baseball, we'll have more of. Bowman, of course. Those are the three main baseball. Sean Murphy to 499. I think. What in Jones Beach? I think that, oh, Jones Beach, there's a lot of concerts there. I've been there. Oh, yeah? Yeah, they got a, a very... Like, not a famous, but they do a lot of concerts there. They got, like, they, it's just marshland out there. Yeah, I like Jones Beach. Do people, do everyone who lives around there, like, have, like, little boats they motor around? Mm -hmm. Like, if you live in I think so. Oceanside? <laughs> I guess. There's a Manhattan Beach out there. So Bowman Mixer, that's uh, that's at 5 a.m. and then probably select baseball. If it doesn't sell out, then we'll do it at 10 a.m. or sorry, 11 a.m. with Jason. All right, last two boxes here. I'll bet. I'll bet. Uh, this is one box, and then we got one more box there. I think you can write C U N Y. Atomic to 150, Casey Mines. The wrong way, really easily. Yeah, there's Fordham out there. That's in the Bronx. That's a major college. This map of New York's just wild. I can't believe people. That many people live in that, in that small, small space. space. There is Bryce Hall auto for the Braves going out to Mark. I remember when I was there, I was in like Manhattan and they had a, they had a Best Buy like in the size of like our shop. Yeah, I thought it was funny that, uh, I saw a funny thing where it was like whoever drew the map, the country map, like whoever started, or no, sorry, the state map, whoever was drawing the state map, like ran out of room on the East Coast. Like he overestimated the West Coast, drew two big lines. Yeah. And then on the East Coast, he kind of. Way too many people. That's just that's crazy. There's so many states in a in a bunch there. Oh, 
Like, so it's like, from here to San Francisco is like seven hour drive, right? No, like five. Five hours. Bobby drive. Witt. Wow, Leadfoot? Man. Six hours. You can get there in five. Denneberg to two Vegas in five, but. No, I oh. think five and a half is the average. Like, if you look it up on Google Maps, it would be five like, and that's a half. like no traffic, maybe. Yeah, no traffic. If you're, like, driving at 2 a.m. If you got lead foot. But, like, okay, but what if, what's that, so from New York, from the city, like, let's say in the middle of Manhattan, if you drove five hours south, where does that get you? Washington, D.C., maybe? Wow. So, it's like, that's the distance. Baltimore? L- L.A. to L.A. to New York, or L.A. to San Francisco is, like, D.C. to New York. Yeah. I think so. And maybe even further say. south? I had a field trip from New York to D.C. and we drove, so. That's crazy. So you're telling me that there are Alex Minota, 125. massive major cities, D.C., Baltimore, Philadelphia, New York, all in that. Boston, you could even say. Was north Imagine region. squeezing all of that into California. That'd be nuts, right? At least California is like open space in between like L.A. and San Francisco. Yeah. Uh, Sejas to 499. Yeah, it's crazy. That's why it's so good for baseball viewing. I saw so many stadiums because you could just drive there. Right, you would hit like you could hit half a dozen stadiums. You like, could oh. you could take a weekend off, Saturday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, let's say Memorial Day weekend. Yeah. You go to four different stadiums. Right, there's Dominguez two, two paper. New York. You go to Baltimore, D.C., New right. York, and New York, or you could go to Philly, Philadelphia, Baltimore, that's five D.C. Right there, right? Yeah. And if you drive drive from Boston, that's six. Yeah. That's wild. What happens in Delaware? Tax havens. Is it really? Yeah, that's like the biggest tax haven in the world, I think. Other than like, or in the country. There's no, uh... Why, did you just have like flexible state taxes? And stuff? Very lenient taxes, I think. So a lot of shell corporations open up in Delaware, I think. <laughs> Biden and Aubrey Plaza, I think. Ooh, Aubrey Plaza, I like. Two, uh, two Delawareans, I think. I really like Aubrey Plaza. He's no, good. Boston's not close to D.C., but you could make, you could drive, it's drivable. Like right, it. Gold Shimmer Auto Cannon Smith, like if you made it like a weekend. 50 of 50, that's going out to the Yankees and Megan. Nice. Aaron Shortridge. Is this the same guy who smeared his other auto? Come on, dude. To four ninety nine pirates. You know what's scary was uh was driving down the freeway to Atlantic City where there was just like it was just a turnpike right and it was just like forests on either side of it yeah like, that's so weird because I like grew up with that where so the mob it's like, hides I'm like so dead bodies that. right that's where the mob hides dead bodies right off of the Garden that's State like, Parkway like when I moved here it's like oh, there's no like trees or anything like yeah. when you're driving on the five no it's just like it's like desert landscape and farms and stuff Yeah, I was looking forward to Atlantic City. It's a bummer. I'm just kind of sick of the Chicago. It's no offense, Chicago. It's just a hassle to get to Atlantic City. Yeah, it's a hassle to get That's there. That's the only thing. You have to you have to pay up and fly to uh, do a stop and then fly into Atlantic City. I think that's what I'm gonna do. Yeah. I mean, you're not going in December, right? Yeah. Me? No. Yeah. We'll probably have a million new releases. I don't maybe. think it's gonna happen in December either. I don't know why they're even doing it. Who's, what what vendors? What dealers are going to go? I like Chicago. Yeah, I mean, it's just from, like local. It's just we've gone to. It's just they've had it in Chicago. Like what? Four of the last eight, seven years. Chicago's mm-hmm. extremely convenient. That's it's, why it's nice. It's so close to the airport. Yeah, it's like you don't have to rent. Like if we go to Atlantic City, we have to rent a car. Yeah. And so that's like a hundred bucks a day. You know. And there's not as many hotels. No. Yeah. 
but yeah, Chicago, it's in the same spot, but we never had time to go into the city. Yeah. So we're just we're just like partying in Rosemont. It's oh, really we, Rosemont. It's not Chicago. Yeah, and so like it's like we've been to the same restaurant a million times. And... Tatis at two fifty. Yeah, you're staying in the airport village kind of thing. Yeah, exactly. If we had time to go into the city, that'd be different. If it was at that fancy Chicago convention center closer to downtown, that'd be awesome. Yeah, if it was in that. But I feel one, like that's like sense. three times as expensive. Although going to Wrigley Field is. Awesome. Yeah, no, it is nice. Although I've never been to the White Sox Stadium. I'd like to go there next time. Maybe next year. The Lency Delgado, Comiskey Park. No, that's the old name. Uh, oh. Like, is it U.S. Cellular? Oh, uh, yeah. It's, at, not, it's like at Comiskey Park, U.S. Cellular at Comiskey Park. White Sox is uh, Natalina, speaking of them. Lency Delgado, Auto. But the food is pretty good in Chicago. All right, almost done with this case. And then we'll go on to the next jumbo. And the next break, and the next break, and the next break. Alright, Nick, the Angels play in Anaheim? No, the stadium one. Oh, Angel Stadium. Cardinals. See, it's tough, huh? It's too late for this. Diamondbacks? Um, Chase Field. Mets. City Field. Philadelphia. Citizen Bank Park. Tigers. Um they're a uh, they're a bank, right? U.S. Yeah. Cellular? No, that's White Sox, I think. Uh, um, they're a bank, right? Yes. I don't know it. Comerica. Comerica. Oh, and uh, Bush Stadium is Cardinals. Oh, that's right, Bush. Cardinals, or uh, sorry, Rockies is easy. Rockies is Coors. Los Angeles Dodgers. Dodger Stadium. There's Red Dominic Sox Paper. is easy. Fenway. New new, uh, new Texas Rangers. Yeah, we just saw it when we were in Dallas. Oh, it's called? I don't know the name, though. I don't know it. Globe Life. Oh, that's right. Reds. Bobby Witt Base. Red is, Reds is the great American ballpark, yeah. right? White Sox is not U.S. Hellier. I was wrong. It's not Comiskey. It, oh, then they, yeah, that's the old name. Okay. okay. I don't know that then. down. You're not going to get it. It's guaranteed rate field. That's no, terrible. That's a terrible name. Royals. Still the same, I think, from for all these years. Chase? No. No, 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 no. Is it something like at? No, point? it's not. I don't know it then. Kaufman Stadium. Oh, that's right. With a K. Yep. Uh, there's Amaya to 250. Marlins Park, right? Yep. Brewers. Um, I know Brewers. Hold on. You sure do. More beer. Hey, Michael. What's going on? Hey, Joe. Hey, Michael. <laughs> Hi again. You scared me. Um, what's it called? Uh, Brewer Stadium. I know it. Is it a beer? Yes. Miller's Light. Yeah, Miller Park, yeah. Miller Park. Houston, another beverage. Crap. Houston's a beverage? Soft beverage. Pepsi? No. Coke? Minute Maid Park. Oh. Uh, okay. Nationals. Nationals Park. A's. Coliseum. Giants. Giants change, have changed their name. They're not at t anymore, huh? No, they changed There's their name. Bobby like, Witt. Five, 50 times in the They should be at t forever. Right. I think that's the first name when they moved, yeah. It what should always mean? be the first. I mean, I hate when they do it. Yeah. But it was. It went from like at t to 3Com or something Ugh. like that when they got bought out. Now it's Oracle Park. Ugh, that's terrible. It's Orioles. Uh, to two ninety nine, Robert Passon. Nice speckle there for the A's. That's Aaron Tooley. Uh, A's is not... Uh, Orioles. Orioles is Camden Yards. Oriole Park at Camden Yards yeah. for some reason. Padres. Petco. Pirates. PNC. There's Cleveland Grant Indians. Little Base Auto. Um, the Little some, Progressive. Pro got it. Progressive. Okay. Blue Jays. Um, Coliseum, right? No. It's still that big public park in Toronto. Oh, I don't know it. Rogers Center. Mariners. I did. I. I think they just. Padres. Just... Safeco. Mariners just changed this last what? year. No, not Safeco anymore. They just changed it last Damn. year or two. I don't know it. T-Mobile Park. T-Mobile Park is in Seattle. Twins. Uh, they're the uh, 
the new one. They're uh, they're the new company. Um, not new company, but they're FedEx. It's a company that's based there, yeah. No, not FedEx. FedEx is in Memphis. I don't know. Target Field. Target. Damn. Rays. That Grant Little was for the Padres, and that was Jeffrey. The Rays, I have no idea. The Dome. Tropicana Field. Oh, that's right, Tropicana. Cubs. The Trop. Um, Wrigley. Yankees. Yankee. And this one, I just did Braves. Guaranteed rate? That was nope. already said. We already said guaranteed rate. Braves. New stadium. They moved from downtown. I don't know the new To north of downtown. Was originally SunTrust Park. Then they just renamed it this year to Truist Park. What? What the hell is that? Truist? T-U-R-T-R-U-I-S-T. They should name it the guy who runs around in the blue suit. Like I'm a Truist. I'm about truth. That's Natalino. But what the hell is... With the Philip Clark Refractor Auto to 499 all right, see you guys. See you, Jackie. Thank you. Thanks. Bye, Michael. Yeah. What the hell is is that? What the so what, is that? What the Sun Trust Company changed their name to? What the hell? Truest. The Braves are just gonna get a new stadium in five years anyway. Expos, I don't know. Corbett says Rocket. What's Rocket Field? I don't know what. Who has that? Rocket. Yeah, R O K I T. Roku? No. Expos was like the was uh, Olympic Stadium or something like that. They built it. For oh the yeah, Olympics. that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like uh, the uh, Ebbets Field. That's my favorite. I used to go there as a kid. That was that was a good good stadium. Yeah. And good a four ninety nine Force Whitley when real baseball was played. Yeah, I remember when they tore it down. It broke my heart. It's terrible. All right. Pause in the video, we'll do a hit recap, and we'll do the giveaway. Be right back. All right, here we go. Here is the recap of some of the non-auto stuff. I guess Vince Vaughn doesn't have to have a license, huh? So all this oh, stuff is, is that top the loaded? You give up your life is for you? Seems extreme. Yeah. I could also drive. There's Andrew Vaughn, 50. And we got Philip Clark to 499. Got a Patisse snuck in there. Little, let's see, Delgado, Gold Auto to 50, Cannon Smith, Gold Auto to 50, Shimmer of Gus Varland, Glenn Allen Hill Jr. to 299, Jaron Duran, probably the best hit from this case, to 250, Gold Auto with a smear in it, unfortunately his, both of his autos were smeared to 75, sorry, yellow auto. The new parallel the last couple years. Adley Rushman was nice too, 22 of 50. That's pretty much it. Time for the giveaway. Good luck, everybody. If you bought two or more teams, you're entered to win. The top four names win 50 bucks each. Wikipedia says opening date December 2020. So let's take all the names who got. Two or more teams here. Damn. The nine-story parking garage. Wow. Above the casino will be a rooftop deck and amphitheater with six swimming pools. But that's not going to be able to open this year. No one's going to be. I don't know. They maybe. said December. Maybe December will be different. All right. Good luck here. Here we go. Oh, the Golden Nugget in Chicago is now that. Gotcha. I didn't even know there's a Golden Nugget in Chicago. All right, top four names win 50 bucks each after 10 times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
nine, and tenth and final time. There we go. Armando, Natalino, D. Porter, and EA. Top four names there. Each one 50 bucks. Thanks, everybody, for getting in. Uh, check your emails and your spam folder for the break credit. Mm -hmm.